In this video, I'll show you how to add questions to an assignment. So I'm in the assignment editor and I'm on step two, select questions. And there are three options here. The first is import question. This allows you to import questions you have already created from your repository into the particular assignment you're editing or creating. So after I select a few that I want to use, I click import and they get imported into my assignment here on the left hand side. I can adjust the point value of each one if I like, and the total points at the bottom will update accordingly. I can also reorder the questions by simply dragging and dropping them into a different order. Now each question can also be annotated, so clicking on the drop down menu next to the question name brings up the annotate menu. This annotation can go above the question, below, in the header, or the footer of the page. This annotation doesn't affect the actual question itself, just how the question is displayed within this particular assignment. And there's a few buttons here to talk about. The magnifying glass next to content will put you into preview mode. This allows you to try out the assignment yourself without the hassle of seeing all the other menu items and buttons. Then there's the edit button. This allows you to actually edit the question you see on the right hand side. As you can see, it brings up the question editor that I can modify and change the question right here in the middle of creating or modifying my assignment. And below that is the delete button. This will remove the question from this particular assignment. But note that it doesn't actually remove it from the content repository. It just removes it from the assignment in question. Now, one thing to also mention is that the questions on the right hand side are visible and live, meaning I can actually try this question out right here when I'm creating the assignment. Now there were two other options on the front page. The second one was to create a new question. This brings up right here in the assignment editor, the question creator. Here I can give the name to a question and the label, and then below create the question as I would like it to appear. When I finish and save it, it will then be stored in my content repository. And the other option we had was to add a new question group. A question group allows you to import or create multiple questions within a group, like you see here, I'll just insert a few. And you have the option to modify the group properties, such as the group name, and to most importantly, randomly select a subset of questions from the group to use within the assignment. So each student who takes this assignment has a different subset from this particular group. And of course, you can also adjust the point value for the questions within this group. And the great part is you can actually have multiple question groups and individual question items in a single assignment. And that's how you add questions to an assignment.